Hello everybody. Welcome to Sailing Vessel Ruby and the Adventures of Captain Bill. And Angelic. Hello. Hi. In today's video, episode 11, we're taking you to the cute and quaint little town of Cohasset, Massachusetts. Just south of Boston, about a two hour sail from Boston. It's a tricky, um, tricky entrance into Cohasset. A little intimidating because you're you're tucking in behind Minot's Light. There's a North Channel entrance and a South Channel entrance going into um, the outer Cohasset Harbor, and then a narrow entrance into the harbor that uh, I recommend not going in at low tide, at least um, half or three quarters tide, or uh, definitely not low. Ruby draws five and a half feet and plenty of water at half tide or three quarter tide or one one quarter tide. Um, Bohasset uh, only has moorings. There's no slips that I'm aware of. There's the Bohasset Yacht Club and that seems to be more of a family youth sailing type of club. There's Bohasset Boat Commercial Boat Club that only has uh, slips for their members. I don't know if they have a Clips. You have to get a hold of them to ask. The harbor master is very helpful. You make your reservations for the moorings to the town harbor master. I think they may be on Dockwa. I have to double check that. Um, but uh, the harbor master is very nice, friendly, and helpful. They come out in their, their dinghy when you're grabbing your mooring. They'll grab the mooring line for you and hand it to you, make it easier to grab your mooring. They don't have much facilities available for the um, visiting boaters on the moorings. You can pull up to the small town pier to get some uh, fresh water, uh, drop your, your trash off by digging you know, your, your primary boat. Uh, that's it, no showers or, or anything like that. What do you, what do you think of Cohasset? We've been there uh, two years together, the past two summers summer of 22 and 23. We really enjoy it. We make sure we stop there in the summer. How do you like it, honey? It's a pretty town. Nice to walk. Quiet. Nice, nice house over there. Yep, good restaurants. There's a nice little restaurant. It's a clean town. Very organized. Yeah, there's there's a little restaurant where uh, right next to the uh, town dock. The town dock is for, for like a dinghy tie-up. So it's a short, short stop to that restaurant. And then you go into the center of town. Uh, it's a 10 minute walk, nice walk uh, to the center of town, day or night. Uh, not much traffic, uh, sidewalks, it's a safe walk. Uh, three or four restaurants, convenience stores, stuff in the center of town. Again, Cohasset is a very pretty town. Also, Cohasset is the home of the Cape Cod Music Circus. It's a summer venue where they have um, artists, musical artists, come in, and we're sharing the uh, lineup for this summer. I'm sure it's a very short Uber ride from town pier to uh, the Cape Cod, to Cohasset Music Circus.
antigo First time in the water, he complained it's cold He likes beach just to walk, he don't like the water He's a cold guy So white First time he take his shirt off We in Kohasa. It's pretty here Very nice here.
We hope you uh, notice, enjoy, and appreciate our attire today. Go Bruins. Yeah, go Bruins, go Celtics. Again, in Boston, title town. We're very excited and very fortunate this year. We have uh, the Bruins and the Celtics uh, running for the uh, Stanley Cup and the NBA championship. We're into round two. Both teams are looking pretty, very good. and. Strong. With Tom Brady on uh, being hosted nationally in big news. Uh, again, we're very fortunate in Boston for a lot of reasons, um, but one big one is our sports team. So, again, good luck to the Bruins and the Celtics. Hello, back again. We hope you enjoyed episode 11, visiting the town of Cohasset, uh, Massachusetts. In this video, you saw that we were at the beach and in the water. You saw Charles Atlas's body. Um, I know that was quite a treat for you. But anyways, being able to swim in the metro Boston area anytime after mid-August or even after, especially after Labor Day, is unusual. The water was uh, very warm. That week we were down there Cohasset 2023 was after Labor Day weekend, the weekend following Labor Day weekend. And the water was probably as warm as I've ever experienced it living in, in the Boston area for 40 plus years of my life. It's the water north of the Cape Cod Canal is generally um, very cold. Even even in summer. High temperatures in Boston Harbor water is like 68 degrees, 70 is very unusual. I'm sure it's hit 72. Um, I don't know. I think it probably did hit 70 last year in the metropolitan area. I'm sure when we were, when we were in the water in Cohasset, um, that the water was very close to 70. So um, that's, that's pretty warm in this area. Once you get through the Cape Cod Canal and you get down to the islands, um, Martha's Vineyard, Nantucket, especially Block Island, the water gets up into the, the mid or higher 70s in uh, the warmest part of the year, around the beginning of August, mid-August, 
I'm sure the last couple of uh, summers was probably warmer than that. So warm, if you want warm, warm water, water to swim in or go swimming in around um, Massachusetts, you got to get through the Cape Cod Canal and uh, south. So uh, again, we hope you enjoyed today's video. We hope you come back to episode 12. In that episode, our plan is to do more spring commissioning. Winthrop Yacht Club Marina has opened. The club is open for the summer season of 2024. Boats are slowly coming in and we're getting their boats obviously ready for the summer of 2024. We're hoping for a very nice and warm and pleasant weather for this season. We'll take you back to Cohasset for sure and other places. So again, thanks for watching. Thank you. Hope you guys like and subscribe. Ciao. Okay, see you again soon. Bye-bye.